Okay, so we're at my favorite pizza place in probably all Vietnam. I tried a bunch of 4P. They make it right in front of you. They've got like nice luxury seating. It is more expensive, but it's very good. It's a Japanese pizza place. They've got three or four chains in Saigon, but I highly recommend it. I'll turn it on a little bit more and show you. Maybe they make ours like a salad. Like I said, they make it right in front of you. They put it in a nice, proper oven, so it's, it's properly cooked pizza. So, just a little bit of look at the menu. So yeah, uh, if you really like good pizza, 4 p pizza is the place to come. So I'll put it back on when the food gets here and we'll start eating. We're getting a 4 p cheese fondue for an appetizer. I don't know if we're gonna get wine or beer yet. Probably wine. But I'll show you the total price too. My guess is it'll come out to around 500K. So I'll let you know on YouTube. But like I said, it's by far the best pizza in, in Saigon. Okay, so we got the teriyaki chicken. We're gonna get the teriyaki chicken and the margarita. And the uh, cheese fondue. And then I'm gonna get, I don't know a beer or wine yet. I'll let you know when it gets here. Like I said, they make it. It's really, really good. Okay, so we ordered quite a bit more stuff than I had planned to. We got a pizza, half-half. We got crab spaghetti. We got cheese fondue. I got like a special IPA beer. Um, she got a lemon drink. Did we get something else too? I don't know. I'll show you all the food when I get to it. The place is phenomenal. So. I'll get more background on what the oven is. So I think it's coal fire. We'll see. So I'll obtain more knowledge. It's a wood fire grill. So they load wood in the bottom, get it hot, stick it in there. Seems like the average pizza takes not long. I think I saw in the timer a minute, minute and a half, maybe two. This pizza looks good. What's that pizza? I want that. Yeah, that one looks great. Alright, so wait till the pizza gets here and then I'll show you. It's like the 10th time I've said that, but for sure this time. Okay, this is the cheese fondue. They actually light it. It's so hot, be careful. Come on. And they give you asparagus, carrot, I don't know what the mystery thing is, and like little bread pizza crust to dip it. So, it looks pretty yummy. So I'll wait until the fondue gets like a little hotter, and then I'll, I'll review the fondue. Okay, so we got multiple things happening at once here. Okay, plan. Thank you. So first we got the cheese fondue, and they give you like some of the pizza crust to dip in it. Let's see how that, let's see how that goes. Absolutely delicious. I highly recommend the fondue. It's very rich, but it's very tasty. It's very, very good. Very good. Let's try some asparagus. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. So that's the fondue. This is crab meat and spaghetti. This is the things that come with the fondue. And then we got a pizza coming up next. That's the third installment to this uh, picture. So let's try the carrot in here. Let's see how the carrot tastes. Very good. Very, very good. So the place is more expensive, but it's worth it. So like, you know, I am the price of the This is well worth the money you'll spend here. It's delicious, the atmosphere is great, the staff is amazing. They've got craft beers that they make. I mean, everything's just really, really good here. Oh, that's a potato. Let's have this guy. Let's put the crab in here.
this know. is the, the crab spaghetti. Let me tell you how that tastes. Pizza goes, it's at 
Now preparing, preparing to like Brooklyn or a New York pizza. It's a six point seven. I would like more crisp, more crunch, especially since they have the high temperature oven. Like this, they're at the, the pizza skins they bought out essentially at the, at the fondue. Yeah. That crush, let me mash it with it. Awesome. Cool. Let's try the uh, chicken teriyaki. Let's see how that goes. This is what the chicken teriyaki looks like. score. Okay. Try the pizza. Let's see what your score is there. Come on. Try the pizza. Put that down. Try the pizza. Nice little bit of flop there. We got some flop going. What? Okay. What's the score? 9.5. 9.5. Okay, so we've got two outlandish rookie scores there. Not even close in the ballpark of, of nines. The best thing's the fondue. The beer I got, I, I don't know what kind, some kind of IPA. It's hoppy. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll, I'll try to put the name of it so you don't get it. Overall, I love the beer. So if you ever like want a good pizza, sometimes it's better than not, like any restaurant, but for the most part you're going to get a good, good pizza. It's Japanese style pizza, so it's 
far as Asian scale pizza goes, we're in the mid eights. Okay. And then for overall ambience, everything for the restaurant, we're at Reddit. 89, 8.9. Alright guys. If I have anything else to report, if I order anything else, I'll fire back on. But 4P is definitely a recommendation. So they take away empty plates very fast here, but everything was eaten. Well, the pizza all the way eaten, the fondue all the way eaten, the spaghetti all the way eaten, all the pizza. Like I said, on, on an Asian scale rating for pizza in Southeast Asia, 8.9 for the total experience. But if we were in New York, South Haven, or even good old Northwest Indiana, it's a 7.5 place. And then you can bump it up a 0.5 for the ambiance. It's very nice here, nice jazz playing. Everybody's well dressed. The service is top notch, so I still give it a top, top, top recommendation. Try 4P Pizza. Be prepared to spend around 500k if you have drinks, maybe 600k. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this vlog. Have a good day. Good night. Good morning. Content. This is cheese ice cream. Here, you ladies first. I swear, if you go high with another rookie score, dude. Oh, she might be going low. No rookie score this time. What do we got? It's like made out of real cheese, isn't it? It's not, it's not like nice cheese. Real cheese. Yeah. Something like pizza like cheese. Yeah, so what's the score? Huh? Four? Wow, another rookie score, but I mean, holy shit. Let's see. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. It's really not good. Holy shit, that's, that's not even edible. That's so gross. Okay, so if you're here and you're like, I'm going to get this, this cheese ice cream, do not get the cheese ice cream. I'm going to give it a, a 3.5, so a 35%. That's the lowest score I've handed out to date. I'm not even going to eat it. I can't even take another bite. It's so disgusting. It tastes like, I kid you not, like pizza cheese in fucking ice cream. Whoever thought this was good and stuck it on the menu, okay, I'll try it again. Let's have one more bite. It's disgusting. It's so savory, and then it's like cold, like, oh, it's, oh. It's just not, I gotta wash my palate down. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that is gross. That's just as bad as durian. Durian might even be better. Do not, total waste of money, 75K. I could buy three beers for that. Yeah, do not get the cheese ice cream under any circumstances when you're at 4 feet. Unless you like disgusting ice cream. 45. All right, 45, my bad. So I could only get two beers. But... All right guys, that's, that's the bonus footage for 4P pizza.